hello there youtube welcome back to another video on today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i made a wicker bill or a rear, rear spoiler for my caddy i made this a few months ago or a month ago but i did take it off and i kind of got in the mood of throwing it back on today so while it's still off i'm gonna show you guys how i made it and how I mounted it to the truck, okay? So let's get together, let's get the items together. This is one of the items I use, which is a rivet gun and rivets. And I'm gonna show you guys what brackets I use and what material I also used. Um, let's get to it. So for the material, I use ABS plastic. It's about one quarter inch thick or a little thicker than that pretty heavy duty stuff um i had it laying around from years ago when i made a splitter for my mustang but i also bought these brackets they were just 90 degree brackets from home depot they come in black already and i also went to harbor fright and i bought this rivet gun and rivets cheap it's freaking useful guys i love rivets so what i did i put i cut this i forgot i think it was six inches wide or five inches one of those and i think 56 inches long sideways can't remember right now i'll measure for you guys measure this this is this is for caddy specs guys okay caddy specs only 50 inches 50 point something 50 point something by five okay perfect and i use four brackets one two three four so i put the bracket i i want the textured side up and then i put the brackets under you can still see my marker marks right there and then i just put the rivets on there and this, it holds it really good. So this little bend here, I did once it was mounted already. I bent it up, kind of angled the wing a little up. So I'll go outside and show you guys how I mounted it. So this is the exact brackets that I used. L brackets, corner braces, whatever you want to call them. I actually needed to take two of those little screws out because I lost the other two. I'm gonna actually use these stock screws, whatever you want to call them, that came with this to mount it onto the truck. I'll show you guys right now, let's go outside. All right guys, so the steelies are back on, if you guys haven't noticed. Now we got some hood pins, I'll get to that right now.
is what we made. Let me know what you guys think. I actually want a little more angle out of it, so I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know why I'm sweating, but <laughs> let me know what you guys think about the wicker bill. Let's call it a wicker bill or a, yeah, wicker bill. All right. So the wicker bill is on. I really like it. It looks pretty sick. All right. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, it's super easy to make. All you need technically is the abs plastic which you could get at any plastic fabrication store near you home depot does not ha have that stuff guys i tried i've looked everywhere i just looked up on google plastic store near me and it popped up and i picked it up um you guys probably noticed these um window grills it's one of my newest pickups on ebay they were about 60 dollars for the pair they look amazing. I really like them. I, it's just a little bit uh, fragile. I had to add a rivet, two, two rivets actually. Let me show two you. Two rivets right here. I had to add, if you guys could tell that they're different than these, just because it was falling, the little plastic piece was falling apart. Other than that, guys, they're freaking dope. Everybody likes them. People on the road be like, what? Complimenting me and thumbing me up and stuff. Um, oh, also we installed this five panel mirror. I literally had it for like 10 years in my shed. It, it used to be sticker bomb, but I did take the stickers off. And I just have this little thing kind of like to give it some integrity because it kind of vibrates a lot. Um, let's go outside. I installed these hood pins, quick latch hood pins. My hood kept popping up while on the road because the original latch does not hold enough pressure or something. But I actually, like I stated in one of my previous videos, I had to do body work right here because my hood actually flew all the way back to the windshield 
and literally laid down on it. It did not crack it, luckily. And it, it kind of damaged the hood over there on that side. I did some body work, as you can see. Let's see. Not the best, but it works. And let me show you guys how they work. So you still use the, it still does something right here. So you just unlock it. And as you can see, it's still locked, right? So you press this. There we go. It has a hook still. And then I had a hole saw right there. And a hole saw right there. And put these little things right here, these little nipples. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I love these things, dude. Look, check it out. Look, just look at it, how it's open right now. You see? Nothing happened here. And it looks pretty sporty, in my opinion. Oh, I put the steelies back on. Pretty happy with it right now. And this wraps up this short update and short quick install and review of my wicker bill. I really like the look that I currently have with my truck, which is on steelies. I don't know why they look so dope. Oh, I, you guys are going to laugh at me right now, but I did spray paint my tires black. Let me show you guys that I forgot to show you. They are spray painted. That's pretty funny, isn't it? Got the little dice on there. I only have one. I, I was missing one black dice. So I have a red one over here. But damn, that looks pretty sick. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. This wraps up this episode here of Wicker Belt slash window grills slash steelies slash spray painted tires hope you guys enjoyed the content you guys stay tuned for more subscribe comment like also follow my instagram which is south bay caddy if you guys haven't yet done so thank you guys for everything and thank you guys for 500 followers on instagram i hope we can hit 500 subscribers here soon you guys stay tuned for more enjoy your weekend guys have a good one